Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about eyebrows. You guys know my struggle with brows. If you look back on my old videos, the brows are so bad. I mean, the brows are so bad. I can't even tell you how bad they are. It, it Like when I look back on my videos and I see them, I'm like, wait, I remember that day, like putting those clothes on, doing my makeup. What the hell was I thinking? I have no idea, but luckily we've we've improved over the past year to two years. Anyway, we are here to talk about some new brow pencils that have come out from IT Cosmetics. Now before I get started, I just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by IT Cosmetics. I'm so excited about that because I love these pencils. I've been using them for almost a month. I have been dying to tell you guys about them, but I knew that I should probably wait until this video. These are the new Brow Power, how about we put a lid on this little guy? These are the new, that's not the right lid, but let's just go with it. The Brow Power Super Skinny Pencils from IT Cosmetics. That lid looks absolutely insane. Is this the right lid? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys all of the shades. Now, I have been a huge fan of the Anastasia Brow Is for years and years, and I never thought there would be a product that could pull me away. There have been many imposters, there have been many products that have come out that I've thought I loved, and then after using them for a while, you kind of find out they don't last as long, or this is not happening. Nothing ever seems to be as perfect as the brow is until this little pencil came into my life. Now I have been using this for about a month, so I have put it to the test. It lasts forever. It's not too creamy, it's not too waxy, it's just the perfect consistency. The colors are gorgeous for everyone. Red hair, gray hair, black hair, blonde hair, no matter what color hair you have, there's gonna be a shade for you. And they work. They work. I love the packaging. Like, I am so excited about these because, like I said, there has never been a product that could pull me away from my brow is. But when I sit down now to do my makeup, I find myself grabbing for this. It's just crazy to me. It's crazy. I still love my brow is. Like, that's going to be a lifetime favorite for me. But these are giving that little brow is a serious run for its money. So these are very similar to the Brow Is. They have this super thin point on one side, which I will do a close up. And then on the other side, you have your spoolie. And not all spoolies are created equal. If you guys are into your brows, you know what I mean. Some spoolies are terrible. This is a good spoolie. So thank you IT Cosmetics for the good spoolie. And the packaging, it almost feels like metal. I love the way it feels. And I'm thinking, because I've been using mine damn near every day, the words have not started to kind of fade off the way the brow is does. Not that that's really a big deal, but I just think it's something nice to point out. So I'm going to go... Oh my god, I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you guys all of the shades, and then I'm going to show you some other brow products that I've been loving at the moment, and yes, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to hear about these new little pencils, which you've already heard about them, but if you want to see the colors, just keep watching. I've already started, uh, not started, I've finished, I've swatched all of them on my hand, but I'm gonna do close-ups for you guys. I was just kind of playing as I was watching Law & Order. I, I can't resist, I'm sorry. Okay, so the first one, let me first show you guys the two that I use because I kind of go back and forth between two of them. So this one is Universal Medium Brown and then I also have been loving Universal Dark Brown. I took both of the lids off just because I'm a mess. Um, now, in my opinion, Medium brown is a little bit darker than dark brown. So, I mean, that's just like a decision that you'll have to make, but I find myself grabbing for medium brown over the dark brown, but they're both awesome if you have dark hair. Like if you're a brunette, you have black hair, super dark brown hair, these are probably the two 
that you're going to gravitate towards. These are just like the brunette colors. What was this? What was this? Um, so these are the two that I use. I kind of mix them. I, if I want a lighter brow versus a darker brow, these are it. And then there is Universal Auburn. So if you're I always picture someone with like fair skin and red hair using this. This one just has a really nice like almost like a strawberry blonde tone to it. So this is going to work for anyone that like I said has any type of red in their hair. And then we have two for blondies. We have a warm blonde and a blonde. Warm blonde as the name suggests is definitely a lot warmer than blonde. I think, I don't know, see I don't have blonde hair so I can't really say, I was going to say I think I would like blonde better, but like how would you even know? I wouldn't, I'm just totally making stuff up. So let me pop up swatches for you guys, first I'll put up warm blonde, and then maybe even right beside it I will put blonde so that you can kind of see the difference in color, just in case you don't get a chance for some reason to swatch them in the store. And then the last two that we have are Universal Gray. This one is going to work either if you have gray hair by age or if you have gray hair because you're following the gray hair trend that is going on right now. I think it sounds so weird to hear young girls say, I've been wanting to go gray for so long. That just sounds so funny to me because I color my hair to get rid of the gray that pops up in the front. So anyway, Universal Gray, it's a really nice like cool toned, almost like silverish shade. I haven't seen it on anyone's brows, but I feel like this would work even for blonde hair if you just want like a really cool grayish tone in your brows. And then the last one is Universal Taupe. I feel like this is gonna be the most popular one because it's like smack dab in the middle. And the darker brow is in right now, so if you have like light blonde hair, a lot of blondes like to do the darker brow. I feel like this would kind of work for a lot of different people. I feel like I am losing my voice, you guys. It has been a long day. Okay, so while we're here, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of other brow products that I love. Of course, you guys know I love my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This will be a lifelong favorite for me. It's just awesome. It's one of the best brow products I've ever used. And then my favorite brow gel is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. The name kind of got rubbed off. But I use the shade medium to dark. This is the best brow gel that I've ever used. Better than the Anastasia one, better than the Benefit one. The best, and it's by L'Oreal. I don't know what it is about this, but the wand is very small and it just, it puts the product on perfectly. It's not too wet, it's not too dry, it doesn't get clumpy. It's the best and it lasts for hours and hours. If you haven't tried this, you have to. It doesn't have those weird fibers in it, but it does give your brows like a thicker, like a fuller look to them. Not one bad thing to say about this. It is amazing. And then I also have the Serenity and Scott Brow Gel. This is in the shade Bronzed Sable. This one's different because it almost looks like it has shimmer in it, but when you put that on your brow, it translates to almost like different tones of brown or whatever color you have. Oh, God, can you tell I've been talking forever? My voice is like cracking. This one... It just looks very multi-dimensional when it's on your eyebrow. It looks like lighter and darker shades of brown. So if you get this and you see that shimmer in the packaging, don't be afraid. That on the brow looks really, really nice. It's very, actually very unique. I don't know any other brand that does this. So yeah, Serenity and Scott is an awesome brand. They do not get enough recognition in the beauty community. And the last thing I want to show you guys is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now I do think this is great if you're on a budget, but this wears off on my brows so fast. Now for a while there I was totally into this. I thought it was almost as good as the brow is. But after a while, I realized it just, it, that's the big thing for me. It doesn't last. Like by the end of the day, I feel like my brows are just gone. I think the consistency is nice. The shades are very nice and it's very inexpensive. 
but for me this just doesn't quite do it for me. So it was almost there, but if you are on a budget, like I said, this is awesome. Oh, I almost forgot to show this to you guys. This is another new product from IT. This is the Brow Power Lift. So it's a double-sided pencil. It has a illuminated side and then a matte side. So the illuminating side I've been using as either like a brow bone highlight, but what I really love to do with this is use it to highlight my inner corner. I know that's not what it's meant for, but it's just so easy to kind of slap on. I'll actually put a little in there right now because I'm kind of, it's kind of wearing off. It's been a long day. It's just very soft, but it still gives you a little bit of illumination. And then the matte side is really good for kind of carving out your brow if you're someone that likes to do that. I usually don't carve out my brow, but I sometimes will do like the underside just to kind of clean everything up. This is very blendable. Once you put it on, I just blend it out with my finger. You don't need like a brush or anything. So I like this. I think that this is a really nice little pencil especially for traveling because you do have both sides so just toss it in your bag and roll out roll out okay guys so that is going to be it for today now if you would like me to do an updated not even an updated because I've never done one if you guys would like me to do a brow routine or a brow how I fill in my brows let me know down below I've never done one just because that's very stressful to me. I feel like that's a very like big deal to have the camera right on top of my brow and me like teaching you guys how to do it because I still feel like I'm learning. But if you guys want that, I will do it for you and I will use the It Cosmetics pencil so you guys can see it in action. Take a breath. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link It Cosmetics down below and all of the information about the brow pencils. So yeah, that is it guys. Thank you again for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my god, my voice is gone. People, I need to take a break. Break, break, we also piece of And then this one is Universal Taupe. <laughs> taupe, Topaz. <laughs> I took all of them off. Wait, what? I forgot what I was gonna say and I kept talking and that didn't even make sense. I took all of them off. The next one is Universal Aubergine. Aubergine. <laughs> oh my god. The next one I have is Universal Auburn. Somebody, somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. Why do I have that every day? Why do I have no lipstick on? Like, can anybody answer this question for me? Hold on. What are we going to do with you? <laughs> like to apologize in advance for my stank ass appearance. Work with me, people. Alright, guys. So that is going to be it for today. Patty cake, patty cake, bankers.